Doug, good morning. Good morning. So not only are we both serial entrepreneurs, but I have uh, a secret man crush to uh, disclose to you. Mm. I think you are an amazing father and parent. Our kids yeah. have grown up together, okay. and uh, I feel like you are the epitome of work-life balance, and uh, I, I admire it 100%, man. Give us your secret sauce. No, I appreciate it. And, uh um, having a man crush is always good. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and likewise, I appreciate what you've done here in this business. And um, I think the employees appreciate some of the things that you do in the work-life balance, particularly today's Friday. Yeah. And everybody gets to go home at 1230 if they don't have any uh, extra work to do. And that's really a, a neat testament to work-life balance. Um, because some people and some companies talk about it and others do it. So. And bring your dog. Yeah, we, we got lots of dogs guys, running around dogs here. here. Yeah, that's right. I saw two dogs this morning. So. Uh, well, I, um, you know, I know that we, we try to take care of our children and you know, turn them into the best possible versions of themselves. And I've just seen you, you know, just go the extra mile. I mean, I don't know how many... You know, I, we're in South Carolina. You, you'll go all the way to, to Delaware for a lacrosse tournament or, you know, make sure that you're coaching a, a team here for, for one of your children. I mean, um, that level of dedication is, uh, is amazing. How do, how, do you, how do you get all that and, you know, maintain the professional and, and everything? I mean, do you sleep? <laughs> um. Well, I do stay up too late. I wish I could switch my clock to maybe go to bed around 10 and get up around 5, uh -huh. uh, but I don't. But um, I think that you just decide and uh, that if you're going to have children, you're going to do it 100% and you do what you can. And um, I enjoy driving around to the different sporting events and I still enjoy coaching. Mm -hmm. So if I didn't, I think I might feel older than I am. So I enjoy still being around that um, it's a good distraction because I truly believe that working more in a day than is necessary is counterproductive. Mm -hmm. So we've all met people who work 15 hours a day, mm -hmm. and I've met people who work eight hours a day, and many of those eight hour a day people produce more than a 15 hour a day person. So you just have to make a decision that you're gonna make that balance and do it, um, and I'll sleep later. That's a that's a great point. I mean, uh, I remember back uh, to my days in the embassy, and we had a a CFO who he just was incredibly effective, and he worked eight hours a day. He never stayed late, and he just when he was at work, he worked. He wasn't mm -hmm. uh, over here talking to this person, or you know, he just he just put his head down and did it, and then and and created those boundaries. So that's a great point. Well. I just want to say you're you're uh, the epitome of uh, an amazing father and and husband, and I I, I think you're one of uh, you're one of my biggest um, uh, role models that I could ever have, and uh, I just uh, look forward to uh, continuing to work with you in the future. And who knows? I'm sure that uh, you know our paths always you know go like this in life, and I I feel like we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing something again in the future here. Yeah, certainly, and I appreciate that, and. Uh... You know, I would say likewise back to you telling me your story, how you started Dom360. It's quite an incredible story, so congrats to that too. Thank you. All right. <laughs>